let's get to the new stuff on history. We're almost to the place we're trying to get to. All right. So it's obviously, history was supposed to be just a greatest hits thing. That's all Epic was looking for. And he was like, nope, nope, I got songs. Let's do a new yep. record. So they ended up releasing it as a, it's like a, it, it came as initially as three vinyl records, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't even realize this was an album until like six years ago. Like for really? whatever reason, like I remember songs. Really? I, remember this, I, I have songs from the, from this album on my iPod, but I don't remember it being like a full blown album or being an album at all. Like I just don't, for whatever reason, that just kind of, uh, I don't know, I said a brain fart or something like that, you know? Um, I didn't realize until like five years ago, like, oh, this was actually an actual album. Like, yep, you can see this a Michael album. It was, a it was an thing. actual album. Yep. Because I, I do remember, like they said, the Earth song was on here, uh, but I, I, I never, but I just thought it was like some kind of promotional single or something like that. I didn't know that it was like considered an actual album, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was a whole, the whole, and I'm amazed it was never sold separately, but it wasn't. It was always in that package. Yep. That was, that's kind of weird. I always thought that was kind of weird. Yeah. That, that they it, did it, it that it, way. It, it was a weird little record for sure. It really yeah. was. Like, like it doesn't really feel like an album to me. It's, you know what it is. It's just that it's complete and utter self-indulgence from beginning to end. This isn't Michael thinking about, with the exception of his duet with his sister, this isn't Michael thinking about charts. This is Michael just doing what he wants. And exactly. by then, he you had know what? to just do it. And unfortunately, and he... mistakes are made as a result of but that. But you know what I thought was the coolest thing? Like he has him in his background. Our, uh, Michael Jackson and Biggie doing a song together. I thought that was pretty. I thought that was mm-hmm. pretty dope. Yeah, the title, tra- the title track. Yeah, but yeah. They, I mean, they were, they were certainly good songs on this record. It, it's, oh, it's yeah. by no means is it a throwaway, but there's also some things that are like, are you really sure about this? Um, stuff that's just not. There's too much of this on the record. Yeah, but one of my top five Michael songs is on this album, though. Believe it or not. Oh, I believe. It. What yeah, is it? We're talking about the same Str- song, "Stranger in Moscow." Tell the children. Yes, I was. Sandra Moscow. That, that's a really good song, man. That's a really, really, really good song. Tell the, the children. Man. Yeah, Stranger Moscow, man. What about you? What about you, Red? Um, if I got to go with my favorite, I mean, it's pretty obvious. Got to go with Scream, but I do like Stranger in Moscow, and that's usually a song. That's one of those ones I'm kind. I would be kind of iffy on. Really. I, of all the albums we've discussed, this is by far the weakest, of course. But yes, I don't is. hate it. I don't, Which they, one? There's got some good stuff up here. They've got. Um, was... I don't mind. Um, they don't care about us. Oh, I, I actually like that song a lot. Do I you? I like that song. I like the R. Kelly song. I yeah, like I Smile. Know. Like, there's lots of good stuff up here. You me. like there's, Smile? I like Smile. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Ed. Thank you very much to our guests. <laughs> David of course, Foster, shame on you. But go they've ahead. got my man Biggie, who's behind me on. Like, I, there is some good stuff. It's too. You're right. It's very self indulgent. There's like the whole second half you can almost get rid of. Keep smile though. But like you can get rid of almost the second half, and I'd be fine with it. So yeah. very many mistakes on this one, but I don't hate it. That's I just like saying. the I like the first three songs from the from the from the second disc, and after that, it's just kind of like whatever. But you know, I like the first three songs. See, I like I think it, it, this isn't like my favorite, but I remember when I got it, I got it as vinyl first. May she may you rest in peace, Orpheus Records in DC. Um, mm-hmm. But I got it as vinyl first, and it came in this box. I wish I still had it. If I had it, it would be on the site. But it came in this big cardboard box with a booklet in it full of, it was just, it's it, the th- it was a thing of beauty. I wish I still had it. I'm an idiot. I gave it away and I shouldn't have. Um, but it was just a beautiful presentation on vinyl. It really was, even though the thing was recorded digital. So sonically, it didn't matter one way or the other. Yeah. But, um, and it was on three records. It wasn't just two, it was three records. It was all spaced out, you know, like like it should have been for, for audio purposes. But the first thing that I really caught onto was money. I um, forgot about money. Money's a great tune. I forgot about that one. Yeah, Love it too. It. And it's so true. Like it's a, and it's the t- the cover of Come Together is pretty good. It's not embarrassing like I was afraid it would be. He owned the catalog. Why not? Right. Oh, that was um that was um Come Together. Um, it was the Beatles. The Beatles joints. Yeah, 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 yeah. John Lennon and McCarthy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It works. I think it works. There's there are things that absolutely things that don't like. The, the song that really should have been called Tom Sneddon, 
You remember that, don't you, Tom Sneddon, who that was? No. What was that? Who's it? So that was the song DS. As, as it ended up on the record. Oh, yeah, Why yeah. Why do I remember DS? Yeah, I, I remember that song. Yeah. That... Do you remember? You don't remember? Okay, so Tom Sneddon was the district attorney that brought suit against Michael Jackson and initiated the lawsuits. For yeah, I, I kind of remember personal that. Personal issues. Mm-hmm. So that's... He wrote it, and if you listen to the chorus of the tune, Bruce Swedean is a mad genius. But if you, and so is Michael for that matter. But if you listen to it, if you, if you really listen carefully, where he's saying Dom Sheldon is a cold man, he's actually singing Tom Sneddon is a cold man. He just wow. didn't feel like getting sued for slander, so he hid it. But if you listen really carefully, it's still in there. It's a really? double tap. Let me pull that off to because I am blanking on this totally. This album, as, as um, we mentioned earlier, this is around the time where I'm like picking and choosing for my iPod. So a lot of these yeah. album cuts I'm missing out on. Yeah, it's it's really interesting to hear it. And I, I was listening to it just right after it came out, of course. I was listening to it. I'm like, oh, uh, I know what this is. You know, <laughs> this was- I had good enough speakers that I could pick it out. I'm like, oh, time this was- to I'd be woke, basically. Yeah, yeah. Very this, much. Was my, this was Michael trying to be woke because he was talking about like um he kind of yeah. got in about the media's perception of black people, police brutality, mm-hmm. and some other and some other stuff. But yeah, you know, I yeah, it was interesting. It so, was, but but it but it's I mean to me anyway, like the, the woke moments for lack of a better term, they kind of halfway work because he does mean it. Yeah, oh yeah, he definitely does. Many things, but hack was not one of them. Yeah. If he didn't believe it, he wouldn't sing it. Yeah, I agree with you there. Into it. He was he was into the assignment. He just didn't always pull it off, but for right, the yeah. most part, he did. Um, okay, um, so for best song, I'm going "Stranger in Moscow." There is no other choice. Yeah, that's there's yeah, that, that's and then there's everything else. Everything else is a good five miles away from "Stranger in Moscow." It's I, I do I do like it. Ever. Yeah, it's probably the it's, best song he ever wrote. Honestly, I'll go there. Yeah, it's it, it perfect. It perfect. Uh, it perfectly describes his career too. You know. It does. It, and really it describes does. him. If you want to know what's going on with him in that moment, just listen yeah. to the song. It's he told you. And you know what's so funny that I feel like that song. It, it feels more like an '80s song than it does a '90s song. If that makes any sense to you, like it feels like something that should have been on bad. Do you I know why you. it does? It does because Toto's playing on the song. That's why it does. Oh, okay. Yeah. David Page on the keys. It's Steve Porcaro's doing the programming. The mach- the drums are drums are machinery. But that's why it feels like that. I, I love it though, man. I, I love the fade it was out too. By David Page, like it was an '80s thing, so it feels. And like I, I love, I, I love the end of it too. When you can hear somebody, uh, kind of like in the background screaming, "Michael!" I, I love everything about that mm-hmm. song. Yeah, yeah, very, the very cor- well done. That, that double tracked chorus, the yeah. melody of it. How does it feel? Yeah, yeah. Such a. Yep. How does it feel? It, it's yeah. just the step down of it. That, mm, it's just such a delicious melody. And in that very end, it's just, yeah, man. It's so sad. It's like, if you wanted to know what was happening to him, just listen. I, Not that there's anything special about me, but I listened to it. I'm like, oh, goodness, he's telling us about himself. Right. And it, it was enough that I had my mom come to, come downstairs to my music room. It was in the basement. It's like, you have to come down and hear something. Yeah. And I played it for her, and she started, to, it made her cry. Mm. She was like, that poor, poor man. Yeah. Like you can almost, I get, I'm getting like a little emotional just thinking about it. He was telling us everything we needed to know about what he was going through. It's all mm. in that song. It's in the music. Yeah. It's in the arrangement. David Page knew to get out of the way. Thank you very much. And just let him sing. He's yeah. not trying to emote like crazy. He's just telling you about himself. Right. He yeah. wanted to know it was there. And if that wasn't enough for you, it should have been. But if that wasn't enough, mm-hmm. Go to childhood. That told that that tell you more. Yeah, I remember. Told us all about himself on this record. Yeah, it's just well, the, the one. That's the one two punch. Probably the saddest two tunes on any record. Why did Epic decide to release this the way they did with the greatest hits and then the new stuff? Like, why did they do that? Like, why not just make this a standalone thing? It probably would have because I don't remember this being that big of a deal when it dropped. Like, I was probably like in middle don't? school at the time. I, I remember. I, re- I remember. Statue? Okay. I, I remember I remember hearing some music, but it, it didn't have this, it didn't feel like it didn't feel like dangerous. It didn't feel like I'm bad. It didn't have that, it didn't have that same type of buzz though. Really? I, I'll say yeah. this. And yeah. I know, you know, my perspective has been I was probably like 10th grade, so I mm. remember this very clearly. But like yeah. it was a big deal because everything Michael does is a big deal. Oh, I mean, it was, but I'm just saying it didn't feel as big as it could have been. 
it that's, felt different and i don't know if that was because this is around the time where like they had allegations and like right. you know, the specter around him but that's what I, it was. It was i was bad. confused because it was like oh he's coming out with the stuff despite what's all going on so it wasn't right. like oh we're gonna see remember the time video it's like Oh, Michael's coming out with an album with all this going on. Yeah. It's crazy. And there was confusion because it was kind of like this greatest hits thing, but he had songs. And a friend of mine, actually one of my best friends, he got the album. So I was like, oh, okay, this is like a collection of new songs. So it was confusing a little bit, at least to us mm-hmm. dumb high schoolers. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the record, I'm looking at it now. I mean, the record still did. Goodness, it still did, it did one, no, it did five million here, which is quite a bit lower than the previous record did. And that's specifically because of the scandal. The scandal did that and the fact Mm -hmm. that it was packaged as a double album, which made it cost more. That didn't help matters either. Yeah. There was a bit of a gaff on Epic's part. They probably should have put it out, like put it out as a as a, as as a whole thing for maybe the first few months, and then release it separately. So right. It so it moves, but that that wasn't very high on their list of things. Plus all the drama surrounding it. It just it was it was doomed in terms of in terms of you know. And it also kind of it, it also kind of felt that even the allegations aside, the music industry was kind of evolving, and no matter how great you are everybody at some point gets passed up. It just, it just happens. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It, and it just kind of felt like this was happening at this particular time. I mean, this is what 95, 96 this is the height of gangster rap and you know, everything right. else. Um, you know, R Kelly's a thing now ushers becoming a thing. Um, there's just so much more going on at this particular time, you know, we're yeah. just in a, we're just in a new era, you know? So he was no longer initiating trends. He was chasing them. It's yeah. Because it, because it, because it, and the chase would get worse on the next record. Cause like when me, when you were just talking about this, what a couple weeks ago, like with R and B and hip hop were kind of becoming a joint at the hip at this particular time. So yeah. it just, yeah, it was right about here that that really happened. Yeah. Right. But it's on his record. It's reflected on the record. Yeah. Yeah.